Hey guys, it's T. So today I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I have done while in art school. A lot of the stuff I do now is heavily influenced by the things I've learned there, but doesn't look like the stuff that I've done in class or is, you know, different subject matter, things like that. So I just wanted to show you like what I actually do in class and give you an idea of it. So today I wanted to start with portraits because <laughs> portraits are kind of where I get some of my most realistic, most representational work in because even in art classes I tend to be less like less representational of what's actually there more representational of like the feeling or like it's more about the inspiration so here we go with like actually showing you stuff so here is a painting of one of the models and it's actually kind of messed up Transporting these home at the end of the year is kind of uh, and sometimes things get destroyed. So yeah. Here's another representational piece. You can tell that I like texture because even in pieces like this I try and get more texture. Highlight on fleek. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I'm not as good at painting or drawing men, um, so I think in this portrait class was like a lot of challenge for me because here's another male. This is one of my favorite paintings that I did all year. I absolutely love it. And on the back is another painting that I really love. Yeah, I am that cheap art school girl that paints on the back of things. I paint, I'll show you in a little bit, I have some paintings on cardboard. Um, you notice that most of my stuff is not on canvas. This is um, some matte board. Uh, a lot of these are on like these cheaper canvas boards and things like that because even though I go to art school, it does not mean that I have the budget to paint on linen all the time. <laughs> So here is another portrait of the same male model that I showed you a minute ago. Again, this is like much more of my own flair to it. Um, much more stylistic and stuff like that. And then <laughs> this is a like really terrible self-portrait that I've done. It, um, you know, it was rushed and I just cut my hair and I was really unhappy about it and a lot of times emotions show in your artwork, well at least my artwork particularly, and this just not, did not go as planned but as you can see on this too, it's got those heavy brush strokes that I really like so at least there's that. Alright, so now... We're gonna get into more fun stuff, like this. And this too, really thick paint. It gets even thicker than in like the normal portraits. And this is something that I love. I love heavy color. I love paintings that you can feel that like jump off the page. I love heavy texture. I love all these things. And this was a really difficult painting, but I enjoy it now and the chaoticness of it. This is another thing from that same class. This is completely the opposite. It's really thin. There's some marker and really th thin paint and just like abstract and I really like this. No one else has seemed to really like this but it's I don't know I really like this as a piece it's one of my favorites so there's that all right let's see what do we have next I'm just like pulling stuff from a corner oh this is the preliminary 
painting for the other one that I showed you. Um, a lot of people like this one over the other one and vice versa. I personally, I don't know, I like both of them. I like the vibe in this, the, the atmosphere of the room and stuff. And as you can see, it's done on cardboard because mama likes cheap. <laughs> I just um, gessoed cardboard and painted on it and sometimes I paint straight on paper, straight on cardboard. Uh, the only thing that you have to be worried about when you do stuff like that is that it's not going to be archival in the slightest. <laughs> Alright, so here's another piece that I did that's more stylistic and things like that. Um, a lot of people like this because of the patterning. This year was the first year that I've really gotten into patterning, which I think has um, really influenced what I'm doing right now with landscapes and stuff. I haven't shown on this channel what I'm currently doing in my fine arts work, so I'll definitely have to upload a video of that soon. Um, it'll probably be a speed paint because I'm starting to turn those, turn my sketches into gouaches um, and watercolors and eventually I'll be doing them in oil and acrylic too, uh, just playing with a lot of different mediums. So I will up that, uh, <laughs> doing this in, all in one take was probably a bad idea, but I will update you guys and post one of those videos very soon. So let's see. Another type of thing that I've been do that I did was this. Now, this is a monotype printed first and then over top of that it was painted on with oil paint. Now this is some of the type of stuff that I absolutely love. I love, love, love like things like this. Um, just abstract and very like about feeling of feeling your way through the piece and that's where I am in my painting right now. I have a couple more paintings that are very much in that style, in that mode. <laughs> I just noticed my face was like puffing through. But yeah, so this was um, what I was doing in the fall of last year, um, in my fall semester. And I really liked that, but I've moved away from focusing on abstraction with um, still lifes and I'm kind of much more on abstraction and landscape now. Let's see. And then kind of going back to portraiture, this is the piece that I did um, last fall and it's very atmospheric, very blue green. Um, but yeah, this was fun to do and this canvas you're wondering why it looks so crappy is because I stretched it myself. I put the stretcher bars together and I stretched it myself and that was a big old ball of fun. <laughs> uh, I'm not very good at stretching my own canvas and I don't enjoy it that much so that's why most of my stuff tends not to be on canvas and if it is on canvas usually it's canvas that I've bought myself. Um, so I think that the last thing that I'll show you in this video, painting wise, is going to be like a grand finale. So this is something else that I've also done in a portrait class. Um, it's very much me, very much what I wanted to do, still figural, um, but it's definitely 100% Tierra inspired Tierra creativity coming out. All right, and it's huge. All right, so I'll try and go down so you guys can see it. Yeah, so in reference to my body, well, this angle's not great, Here's my body. Here's this painting. 
Um, it's not taller than me. It goes, I'm 5'10", and it goes to about my belly button. So, it's pretty tall and pretty wide as well. Um, it's a big piece. And there is lots of texture on here. This is paint squeezed right out of the tube. This is me just doing the brush in circles. These are all little dots of paint. Um, this figure was done with lots and lots of lasers, layers of glazing, um, and then more paint out of the tube. This circle detailing was the bottom of a bottle over and over again. It's very focused on texture, very focused on brush stroke and movement and color and all of that and I named it electric when I put it in for prizes. Did not win anything but that's okay. I absolutely love this piece. Um, I'm really sad because uh, one of the casualties of putting yourself on a painting rack is up there um, the paint got smushed onto his face because someone was not paying attention to where they were putting their drawing board and put it in my wet painting. But you live and shit gets messed up and you just live with it and that's, that's how that goes. So all's then, all's, oh my gosh, all's well that ends well, right? Um, I still love the painting. I still really happy with it. My professor was really happy with it. And those, those are the main things. I'm a student. I never intended to sell this. I never intended to put it in prizes. It was just like a thing of, oh, prizes are coming. I guess I could put it in. So not a big deal. I was angry about it at the time, but now I'm just like, eh, still looks nice. It's still like the painting. So that is it for everything that I'm going to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'm going to come back soon and show you some more stuff that I've done at school, so show you some printmaking stuff because I'm a printmaking minor, painting major. So while I have a lot of paintings, I also have a lot of prints and I love printmaking and really want to do a video dedicated to that. And yeah, so I wish you guys all well in all of your artistic endeavors and I will see you guys next time. Bye!